It is Wednesday, I think April 25th or 26th. It kind of feels like a Monday because yesterday I was just making lots of plans and today is the first day that I'm doing some of them. So one thing that I was feeling a lot was just very scattered. I'm starting a new business right now, MPS management, which is super exciting, but so many new things to learn. And then also with my content, I just have felt really all over the place. So yesterday I was trying to figure out some solutions for that, what to do about it. And one thing that usually helps me a lot is just having routine. Sometimes I feel like I want to be too cool for routines and like good at being spontaneous, but I actually just feel like so much more productive and calm when I have like a go-to routine and then I actually can be more spontaneous because I don't have to think through as much because I have like a normal flow that it's based off of. One of the things that I want to do more is do a weekly vlog. So this is the beginning of that. <laughs> this week we have a couple fun things going on um, right now. I'm just waiting for our groceries to arrive. I'm gonna have breakfast, probably do some yoga. And then this weekend, we are actually shooting an elopement in Yosemite. It's going to be so beautiful. They're getting married at Lower Yosemite Falls. So I'm really excited for that. It's two of our really close friends, and we're also the photographers for the wedding. So honestly, I am kind of uncomfortable vlogging. It's like not that natural for me to just document. It's more natural for me to like come up with a concept and shoot that. So this will be kind of interesting, but hopefully it goes well. Welcome to my first weekly vlog. <laughs> yoga I only did it for like 10 minutes even though I'm trained to be a yoga instructor it doesn't really mean that I'm like amazing at yoga it just means I know how to do it properly and how to teach it so one thing I'm working on is like just getting better at yoga in general because it's kind of hard to do it and teach it at the same time this is my first yoga flow that I ever wrote myself I am trying to memorize it so that I can teach it and that's why I kept looking at my phone. Maybe I will, maybe I'll put this in the description in case you want to try it. But one day I'll probably have like my own little yoga videos. I also wanted to show you this amazing, whoops, this treadmill that we got. I really like it because we can just fold it up. So it has wheels right here. And then these handles, you can just unscrew it right here and they're fold down. And then we can stick it under the couch. So it's nice and small. And it was also like just way cheaper than other treadmills. So I will link it in the description. It's Friday now and tomorrow we are going to Yosemite. So today I'm kind of like packing up for that. We're only staying for one night. So we're gonna just drive for five hours, shoot the wedding, stay for the night. And then the next morning leave really early and come back here because Nathan has another photo shoot. So it'll be kind of a whirlwind of a weekend. So today I'm kind of packing for that, like picking out what I should wear for the wedding because I kind of want to look cute like since they're my good friends I kind of want to like look cute like a guest but also I need to be able to take photos so it needs to be obviously like practical and also I normally wear black just to stay out of the way like so that I'm not drawing attention if I ever like go up near the couple during the wedding to get photos stuff like that so okay, I think I figured out my outfit for this weekend I'm probably just gonna wear like hiking boots with this. I just added these necklaces, which I feel like dresses it up a little bit more. Um, Nathan's making a smoothie. What kind of smoothie did you make? This is acai and dragon fruit. Ooh. This is quite delicious. Look, it's a whole smoothie right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ooh, it's a pretty color. I like It matches the scissors. <laughs> I like my smoothies to be thick. Mm. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm actually kind of questioning my outfit decision because low of 36? Oh wait, that's tonight. Oh, 32, good. 
Okay, this is option three. It's a dress, but I could wear it with leggings and the boots to stay warm. Okay, wait, I just had to try one more and this is it. I don't know, I didn't think of this sooner. Let's layer it with the leggings and then the boots and then I'll bring, I have a, I have like a fur stole. Okay, tell me if this is too much to wear. I'm all about a little being a little extra but I mean it's not too much because the dress is black I'm not gonna need nearly everything that I end up bringing but I just hate feeling unprepared like I hate being uncomfortable all day long or being like oh, I should have just brought this so I always overpack for stuff like this We just stopped in Oakhurst. We're an hour and a half away from the falls. Nathan went into Smokehouse 41 to get a chicken sandwich. I am eating cheese sticks with peanut butter. <laughs> um, kind of debating if this is gonna be too messy for the car. But um, I really like Yosemite. We've been to Yosemite many times before. It's a nice place to go, I think, if you're sort of like beginner to road trips and parks and camping and stuff because like we usually have service inside the park and they have like nice bathrooms and restaurants and groceries and stuff like that and most of the cool views you can hike up to them or you can just drive up to them so it's a very easy park to hang out in so yeah I feel like it's a nice way to kind of get into nature and be a little bit adventurous but have it be very relaxing and not too exhausting it's nice for people who enjoy glamping smokehouse 41 barbecue up in Oakhurst California <laughs> that actually does look quality I
we just saw the groom. Today is absolutely insane in Yosemite. I've never seen it this busy before. So we do have a permit for them to get married at Lower Yosemite Falls. However, we don't have a permit to like crowd control and move people out of the way. So we're still kind of trying to decide exactly where we want them to get married. It's nice and peaceful here, but you can't see the falls, but at the falls, apparently it's crazy. Anyway, there's these really pretty white flowers too. Hopefully I'll get a shot of them. They're all over the parking lot. Also, it is not cold. I could totally worn that, <laughs> that other outfit. I'm very warm, but it's very beautiful. This is one potential spot for the ceremony. This would be so pretty. And it's quite a bit quieter than the rest so far. Can't you just picture them right there? I'm shooting on a Canon 5D Mark III with a Sigma 35 millimeter lens. It's my favorite, very versatile. Looks flattering on everything. We found the location for the ceremony. It's gonna be so pretty. There's the groom waiting for his bride. Where are you <laughs> I'm with the bride and groom! Yay! <laughs> uh, anything to say for yourselves? Uh, we're married. We did the thing. In Yosemite. <laughs> A very beautiful day. We just made it to our hotel after. <laughs> we got to take photos in just so many beautiful spots around the park. Seth and Vanessa are married. It was all beautiful. Obviously, I couldn't vlog the whole day because I had a job to focus on at photographing it, but I will share some photos here. What do you call this party favor uh. care package from the wedding? It's like snacks for the trip home, and everything is so hand healthy cream. and yummy. Vanilla oh, bean and cream. peppermint hand cream. Oh, they know us. <laughs> hand sanitizer. They know I have dirty and, hands. <laughs> and look at this brown butter organic darker chocolate. Oh, my oh, voice just got this. so <laughs> You oh. wonderful humans, and we love you. Of course, they know us. They know <gasps> that we're wonderful. Whoa, all natural toasted chocolate. Coconut, oh, coconut chips. They know I have stinky like, breath. <laughs> for breakfast, we have coconut cashew oatmeal again. I tried it the other day and I loved it, so I brought some more with us. Oh, hot. I'm eating my oatmeal in the car. We're basically just gonna head home, but we might stop, we might stop, by. <laughs> we might stop by Bravo Farms. We saw it on the way here. We don't really have any idea what it is, but it looked like they have nuts and cheese. So I thought that sounded yummy. We're very yeah, tired, yeah, but happy. Would you like to try again? <laughs> and we're gonna have good music <laughs> on the way back. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing. As part of the experience, it's customary to enjoy something <laughs> special from the cuisine. Oh my gosh. So I got a uh, strawberry banana shake, and it's pretty darn good. I would gladly get it again. Was it made with like milk from the farm, I assume? Uh, I don't know, I didn't ask, but there are strawberries and bananas, they said. So. Oh. Well, we're on our way home, and I think that's about this. That's about it for this week.